Hey guys, I'm Peter from Infinity Digital and by now many of you have seen the video of me detailing my tale of woe about the loss of my newly begotten Mavic Pro. Following the incident, I did a lot of searching and put out ads on Craigslist and contacted DJI and did everything I could to try to either recover the aircraft, have it replaced, and figure out what the hell happened. From my vantage point at the time of the incident, I pretty much concluded that something interfered with the communications with the craft, it caused the loss of connection and control, and the return home feature did not kick in and the drone did not return home. Also, when things were happening, I was pushing the return home button on the controller and still nothing. After going back and forth with DJI for several weeks, um, they pretty much determined the same thing. And this is what they had to say about it. Thank you for your patience. For your claimed case, blah, 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 we have already finished the analysis and the result is as followed. With the record point ended, without any sign of abnormality, there was no obstacle where the aircraft record ended. We cannot verify what happened afterward. As such, we cannot provide warranty service. So basically they're saying, we don't have any idea what the hell happened either. And that being given, we can't do anything about it and you're stuck. Thanks guys, top notch. It all started normal enough. No signs of trouble and I'm beginning to fly towards the school. This little cemetery here is one of my emergency stop points when I'm flying in the area. It'd be pretty easy for me to find a quiet, secluded little corner to emergency land here and come and pick it up in the case of emergency. This time I really didn't need to, and I continued on. It wasn't until I got to the sports field in school here where things started getting a little sketchy. At this point, I lost signal for a brief moment, and I did hit the return home button. Nothing happened. A short while later, I did regain signal, so I continued with the flight that I intended to fly. But, again, signal started getting weak. At this point, I'm trying to turn the aircraft around and actually hitting the return home button, but the aircraft was still traveling forward until I lose total signal and now the Mavic is adrift. What you see here is the Mavic drifting around on its own. I have no control of the aircraft and I have no idea exactly where it is or what it's doing. All of a sudden, it looks like the return home feature did activate, and the Mavic begins traveling back the direction it came. Although it's traveling in the proper direction, the nose is pointing about 30 to 40 degrees off angle. I'm assuming at this point that the compass has been scrambled and it has actually no idea where it's really heading. At this point, it begins changing its heading and traveling in the direction its nose was pointing until it decides that it's completely lost and has no option but emergency land. It begins descending over this clump of houses. Its downward sensor senses the uneven slope of the roof and kick it backwards over the lawn and it continues to descend and hover over this lawn until the battery died and it landed. 
Luckily for me, they were wrong and I was wrong. The Mavic did return home two weeks later. I was running ads on Craigslist um, about the missing drone and it had ran for a week and I refreshed it for another week and the second week was just about to run out when one night I got an email from a person saying that they could they had possibly found it. Um, we went back and forth a little bit trying to confirm that it was indeed the proper drone and they were able to check the footage on the drone and confirm it with me that it was footage that I had taken which was actually for another episode at Twin Falls, a Lolly State Park. Make sure you watch that video, by the way. And lovely assistant was able to go pick it up for me while I was at work and bring her back home. And here she is, all in one piece, airworthy, everything intact, and we're good to go. But not much thanks to DJI's customer service, I easily could have been out a thousand bucks. So that's a quick wrap up and a happy ending to this, which very easily could not have been so happy. So guys, thanks for watching. Please do me a favor, subscribe, thumbs up, share it, spread the word, and we'll see you next time.